Welcome back people to the Reggae Boys Career Mode. This is Season 5, Episode 3. First thing I've got to show you guys is that new French guy we just got in. <laughs> With hope of him being Jamaican, not even close. Has now gone to Wolfsburger on a permanent fee for 920 grand. So now let's get into the third round of the AFL Cup against Aston Villa. I fully expect to lose this game because I'm simming with my second team. <laughs> so yeah, I expect this to be a pretty much a thrashing to be fair, like 3 0. They've lost the last three games, but I still expect this to be a loss. <sighs> it's annoying considering we lost on penalties. Like, come on. Hopefully, McLeod is not out for a long time because he's one of them that we need to keep the training up on. He's out for four weeks, that's fair enough. Right, looks so like we've got a game against Brighton that we'll play, and then Renee's, Sandra Renee, and then Newcastle before a big break. So let's get into this game against Brighton and try and get three points here and soar up the top, soar up the table. Let's get this going, Wolves against Brighton. We've had to travel quite a bit to get here and their home stadium, but uh, hopefully we can try and come away with three points, as I said before, and that will put us right amongst the pigeon, cat amongst the pigeons if we do. Oh gosh, he had pace. That was Trasad, though, wasn't it? Lawrence is just. I'm going to miss Lawrence when he retires, you know. I really hope he doesn't retire and he just stays here until he's 35 and we can end the career mode with him in the squad. I don't care if he's like a 64 rating by that time. I just want him in the squad forever, man. Okay, still got the advantage here. Jahanbach has just passed it into Martin, back into Jahanbach. He's an Iranian player. He's, I know he starts with a quite high overall. Michael Hector heads that out well. Reed heads that out to Johnson. Johnson into Garrick. Garrick puts that through to Daly. Come on, Daly. <laughs> Daly is really slow, man. I don't understand why he's so slow. Damn, he got mashed up there. Johan Bash. He's got the hold of this right hand side to run into now. Johan Bash. <laughs> that was terrible defending there. Terrible attacking, should I say it? Wow! They are sliding into there, aren't they? Oh, they've got Almada. Thiago Almada, yeah, he can go to about 92 or 93, I don't know. He's quite a high potential player. Didn't expect to see him in Brighton. Barcelona, maybe, but not Brighton. That was actually a fake shot. Rolls. Okay, it worked out. <laughs> it worked out. They couldn't react fast enough to him in the end, so. I think he's actually scored in every single game that he's played in this season. Um, well, that he's started in, because I did sub him on in the last two minutes against Sparta, Sparta Praha. And he did score in that one. He was, he was good to react quickly to that, though, to the loose ball. That's what a good striker does. Eight goals in the Premier League into March. March powers through here, tries to put in the hand match and it just went nowhere near him. Reed. Reed into Rose. Okay, that was that was some stellar defending, I'll give you that. Well, it was offside, so <laughs> didn't mean anything in the end. Vassal. Oh, just nearly put that through to Garrett there. Nearly. Turn ball. Trossard's free on his left hand side, but Powell's not going to let him get away with it for fun. And we lead the half 1 0. Turn ball. Johan Bash. Nice interception as usual from Lawrence. Oh, but they've got the ball back. I thought that was maybe offside. That was so quick. That was really, really so quick then. Very frustrating. I know we're having a good run and it doesn't really matter if we draw this opposed to winning, but to concede from that. You, you can't be doing it. You've got to at least card him for that. Thank you, ref. That was really bad, that was. Well, definitely yellow card, Derek. Putting across here. 
Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with it? Okay, that was terrible from Vassal. To the, what he was trying there. Gosh. I can't even pronounce this guy's name, so I'm going to call him Gyro. Oh, come on. Ooh. Don't like how close that was. Especially from him. Forget about that. Yeah. I just I had no confidence. Hold on. Should I try the skill move there? What's Danny's skill move? Is it three star? Oh, he's two star. That's why I didn't try anything. I knew he was going to be trash. Oh, my dear. Okay, they're just passing these mad triangles now. Facade. Seen a lot of the ball today. I thought I could intercept that with power. Just went past him. There we go. Blake catches that. Let's try and a fast counter attack here. Go on, Johnson. Puts that over the top there. And that's the end of the game. A 1 1 draw with Brighton, unfortunately. It's a shame that their goal came from me trying to lob it over their defence and just messing it up entirely, hitting the player. And then they just had some silky passes and then just passed it into the net, basically. That's like a clean sheet streak run over. <laughs> oh man, let's get into this post match interview. Like, what is so a hard four contest? What would you take? We should have won. <laughs> the way they scored that goal, what were your thoughts when they pulled level? Uh, we aim to win every match. And Turnbull, I'd, I'd say Trissard was at the end of everything, to be honest with you. But yeah, Turnbull, I suppose, was decent as well. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> okay, now McClearly has gone up to a 67 overall. Williams has gone up to a 70. It's exactly what I like to see from these young players here. Right, so Rene is next. They won their first game of the Europa League, so we're going to have to try and win against them and to see if we definitely <laughs> is to try and get top spot in the group. Can your team get their first win today? It will be difficult for sure, but I'm sure we can. We're playing the first team this time. Any changes to the squad? Uh, we need to look at the team and just identify who's the best to play. Do you hope to bring stability to the team's performance? My players will improve. And don't, don't worry, don't worry about stability and all this nonsense. Can't remember the last time we lost, man. You're always talking about stability, but man, we got it. We got it going on, don't you worry. Rojas. Valadisi. Well, I'm butchering these names, I just it know it, you know, Valadis, I think, something like that, anyway. Well, Martinez. Oh, that's Joseph Martinez, isn't it? Yeah, the guy who plays for Atlanta in the MLS. Really need to get he is a game. good striker, man. And I know he scores a lot. Doesn't he do um, a fancy Martinez. penalty as well, like a Pinecker or something like that? Oh, wow. And a very good challenge. Garrick into well, John Ogle. Dali into Vassal. Go on, Vassal. Power through here. Yeah, Puts that through to Reed. Like Who's going to shoot this here? Oh! I didn't expect that to come from the underside of the bar. As soon as he shot, I thought it was in. I was about to say, there we go, but... Ooh, that just about stayed out. Into Gary. Hector. Into that. Oh, class in there. It was a good interception, but unfortunately he's gone straight back to them, Klassen. This is a Klassen that was at Everton either last year or the year before, in real life I'm talking about. Nice interception by Johnson there. Dali puts it back to Johnson, back into Dak. Okay, just about gets it. Rolls, through to Vassal, back into Rolls. Rolls just tries to put that through to Dali, it takes a bit too long there. Klassen. Nice interception by Orgel. Orgel's a class defender lately, man. Depressing high. Depressing really high. Wow. Rolls. Wow, how did he not get to me? Look how long his legs are. He slid for that and he still didn't get to... The AI screwed me there. You're telling me Johnson was two feet away from the ball and it didn't give me Johnson as a player to control. Back into Burner. 
Puts in another early cross. Ooh, it's a good job he headed that down and not a cross. Because if that was a cross, that would definitely have been in. I've got to watch his burn his crosses, man. Positioned himself well there, Reed. Into Vassal. Puts that through to Rolls. Rolls has got plenty of space here. On the plate there. On the plate to Vassal. He was very unselfish. I kind of had to, man. Vassal made it all happen there with the pass to Rolls. And we just the played a high line, a very, very high line. And we punished them for it. It's a simple tapping in the end. The Vassal. Yes, we're all Vassal. Oh, that was a good interception. Got to give him that. Powell. Johnson into a Vassal. Rolls. There we go. There we go, nice passing to Rolls that was, I don't know who that was from, was that Johnson or Vassal? But he couldn't miss from there, it was on his favoured foot as well. It was from Vassal, look at that. Oh, he, he's passing, he, he's become a great player. An absolute great player, one of my favourites. Push there, Bernardo, nice intersection by Garrick. Hopefully that's not the commentator's curse. Oh, I thought I could do him with that there. Just trying to put it through his legs. Be smart about that. Bernardo. Into Garrick. Into Powell. Powell's got a bit of space here. What's he going to do with it? He's going to keep on pushing it forward here. Cuts it back. <laughs> That's what persistent gets here. If he didn't, he didn't score with the first shot, and because he kept on running, and he got a mix-up, he got a, a shot and a goal with a mix-up from the defender and the goalkeeper there. His first shot, that was a great pass from Powell, by the way, I didn't mention. His first shot was terrible, though. Why didn't he do shoot straight down the middle? I don't get it. But because there was a mix-up there, he couldn't miss from there. <laughs> yes, Garrick. Three then up. Didn't expect this. We, we are playing really, really well this season. You could die. Bernardo. They're not really going anywhere. They just keep on spinning and turning around. Rojas. Now they're going somewhere. And he takes a shot. Oh, I thought that was on target. No, I was getting a bit scared there. Oh, he was. He saved it. Oh, damn. It didn't even look like he touched the ball, to be honest with you guys. Man. Oh, what a pass there to Rolls. Rolls is going to shoot. Unlike Rolls. <laughs> very, very unlike Rolls. But we're going to make some subs now. The ball is out of play anyway. Williams is now going to come on for Rolls. And Brown will come on for Daly. Also, Orgel will come on for Garrick. And he will swap places with Reed on this left-hand side here. Ogle hasn't played in a while, that's why I'm bringing him on. Johnson. That was a fake shot, Williams. Williams, what are you doing, man? Come on. Rafinha. I wonder which Rafinha that is. I think there's two of them, isn't there? I think both of them are pretty good on the game, though, to be fair. So it looks like they've got a decent team, to be fair. If we can beat them the second time round as well, we might just, that might alone cement our top place finish. Hector just gets that out of here. A 3 0 win against Ren Rene. Rens, or whatever you want to call them. I wasn't expecting that at all. Let's go to this post match interview. And also, Sparta Praha drew with Transport Sponsor. Sponsor. And Garrick is in a hot run of form. Uh, I wouldn't say he's in a hot run of form, must keep momentum and can also keep up the results. We will certainly do our best, for sure. 3 0 win, are you pleased with today's performance? Time to focus on our next match. You'll keep that one cool, man. I am, but we'll keep it cool. Right, we've got Newcastle next on the first of the month.
We got manager of the ward, manager of the month, which I, I definitely agree with because if we look back, we beat Chelsea, we drew to Sparta, we beat Arsenal, we drew to Aston Villa, then lost in the penalties, we drew to Brighton, and we beat Rene. So we didn't lose a match officially in that month at all. It looks like. Vassal's gone up to an 81 off screen naturally, and Garrett's gone up to a 75 off screen naturally as well. Right, I've made a couple of changes for this team against Newcastle. We're playing roof up top because Rolls is standing, is a little down. And we're playing um, Rolls on the right hand side, the other Rolls, the younger Rolls, uh, because Garrett's standing is a little down. And we're playing Brown in the attacking mid position because Danny's standing down. And Vassal will have to tuck it out. Out in the centre here. Rose. And joining me is the former Arsenal Powell. defender Lee Dixon. Back into this Rose here. Young Rose will call him. Passes it off nicely into the roof. And just, oh, just about. Nearly gets that through to Brown. And we all know Brown finishes those chances when he wants to. <laughs> Campbell. Puts that switch of play there. Manquilio. Very narrow midfield and a conventional back into Manquilio. Campbell, nice interception by Reed, doing those sweet, sweet defensive duties again. Cucurella. Cucurella. Okay, give, up, give that back to us by all means, I don't really care. Brown into Vassal, back into Brown, into Roof. Go on, Kimo Roof. Compose yourself. On the plate. There we go. Brown. What did I just say? What did I just say to you guys? He finishes those chances when they're there. That might actually be his first Premier League goal. I don't remember him scoring a Premier League goal at all last season. I really don't remember it, to be fair. Kimo Roof. Into Brown. Into, the advanced position. into Johnson. Well, Johnson's so the slow lately though. That's what, that's what we need McLeary to come in and replace him, man. Okay, Kamara was not playing. He was not playing with anybody, man. Campbell. Richie into Kamara. Switch of play. A beautiful switch of play. I've got to admit to Manquilio. Sabrino. Puts that into Tammy Abraham and Blake gets a really good save off that. He's he's performing a lot better this season than he did last in his in his debut Premier League season. I give him that. We'll get through there. Longstaff. Sabrino. Tammy Abraham. Nice interception by Johnson there. And it was definitely a foul. Cardium as well. Fair play, ref. You do you. Kukurel has been active on the ball today. He always is, to be fair. I remember him last season. Powell just tries to ping that into his mate, but doesn't get past Richie. Oh, that was terrible from Rose. Come on, Rose. You can't be dealing with doing with stuff like that. You're in the big time Premier League now, Brown. Through there to Rose. Gone, Rose. He's got the pace on people here. Oh, but he pushes it too far forward there. That was the problem. Half time. Cuts that back there. Long staff. Ooh, I thought that could have gone in then. That looked like it was. It was looked like it was one of those optical illusions, man. Into Vassal. Go on, roof. Ah, oh, I was. I was. I was torn then between shooting and passing. That's why it took me so long then. <laughs> I probably should have just shot it to be fair. Especially seeing as how Kimo Roof's got a full star weak foot, so it didn't matter with what I shot with. Vassal puts that through to Reed. Back into Vassal. Back to Reed. Oh, Manquillo was positioned really well though. Oh, and it's a good interception there. 
They oh, Dubravka was a great save there. Reed, that was a great interception to put it into Rolls. A Rolls just he should have put it a little further past him, and that would have been it. Johnson puts it over the top. Reed into Johnson. Lawrence into Reed. Oh come on! You should have scored that. Come on, Kimo Roof. You don't. You don't miss those. You just do not miss those. If we concede here and we draw the game, I'm, I'm blaming you for that. Richie passes that and back. Campbell, switch of play. A beautiful switch of play yet again. Manquillo. They did the right thing of putting an early cross there, but my defenders, man, they're alert with these stuff. Brown. Go on, Brown. Push that forward. Brown puts his through to Roof. Oh, Roof just he was not agile enough. That was the problem. Through to Tammy Abraham. Back into Longstaff. I wish it would come up with their initial so you know, knew which Longstaff it actually was. Cucurella puts it to the back. There we go. All the heads that out very, very nicely. There's a clearance. And Rose puts that into... I don't know who that was. Oh, Kimo Roof has played really poorly today. Really, really poorly. But he's going to mess this up, isn't it? Roof! <laughs> you, see, you see, you're trash, man. He's been trash all game and he starts celebrating that like it was his goal. That was a poor, poor own goal. A very poor own goal. I kind of feel sorry for Newcastle, to be honest. This was a good block from the defender, I think this was, yeah. The goalkeeper wasn't saving that. And then, I don't know what the, that guy was doing, but that was really, really bad. <laughs> Look at this. Does he, is he trying to, does he think the goalkeeper's standing up? And he can easily get that back or something. Whoa. We're 2-0 up and that's all I care about, to be honest. Right, McCurdy's going to come on with a vassal. And then we're going to bring on Williams, because he hasn't played a lot. Nicholson, so he doesn't complain as well. Because he, he hasn't played at all this season, I don't think, anyway. Right. Richie to Matty Longs. Oh, oh, okay. So the other one where it doesn't have the initial in front is Sean Longstaff. And obviously the one that's got M is Matty Longstaff. That Puts that over the top to Manquillo. Lawrence is. <sighs> Lawrence, man. Lawrence. Again, I don't know who my favourite player is, but my gosh, I've got a lot to choose from, really. Reed. Okay, whatever. We win 2 0. <laughs> we are dispatching teams this season, man. We're slapping teams. We don't care who you are, we just. <laughs> Get out our way. Get out our way, man. Anticipate to win. I knew we'd win. Bro, the way we've been playing, don't talk about anticipate. Man, I knew. What did you make of the second half? He <laughs> made it easy for us, man. And how difficult was it to find a way past it? To be honest, it would have been a lot easier if we had roles playing. <laughs> but Kimar Roof was trash, man. We are now fourth in the table, but look at that, we're still eight points off top because Man City have won every single game so far. And we've already had two losses. <laughs> well I'm still aiming, I'm still aiming for Europa League this season to be honest with you. I don't think we've got enough to get Champions League. That'll be next season. Well obviously if we get Champions League, we get Champions League, isn't it? I ain't gonna complain about that. So I put Garrick back on base against the clock because I think the ball control dribbling and agility all need to be on top at 80. And we'll save that as a new number one. I'm always making new number ones man. I'm switching it up, that's why. <laughs> we'll delete the old one and we'll get ready to see these. Okay. Right, we've got Kimo Roof asking to play against Watford. The big games ahead. I'm not gonna play him or start him. 
the way he played that game was really embarrassing. Sane and Kane are killing it because Rose is the top goal scorer with eight. Sane has got nine. But we're up against Watford and we'll make this the last game of the episode, so let's get in here with the first team, of course. Hold on, hold on, how soon is the the third group stage? Oh, to be honest, with the third group stage game of the Europa League, I will sim it. Yeah. Well, no, I won't sim it. I'll play it with the second team next episode. Good Corey. Into Pereira. Pereira's running down his right hand side here. Got a lot of pace. But Reed is like, man, you, you're up against me, man. I'm not no ordinary winger. <laughs> I've got some crazy defending going on as well, man. Justin into Quin Quinner. Uses. Daddy uses strength nicely and then he just wants to start lashing out. Ugh, Daddy can't push me off the ball. You know, I know he's got 78 strength, but no, no, he hasn't got 78 strength because we all know that. Into Daddy. Daddy's going to shoot this. I blame the defenders for that. <laughs> the defender was just backing off, backing off, giving me more time to, you know, make a perfect pass to Daddy. And what does Rolls do? Makes a perfect pass to Daddy. No Blame the defender. Look at him, look at him. He's just <laughs> letting Daddy just go forward, put some pressure on him at least. <laughs> Puts that through to Rolls. Oh, just about gets that Israeli Sar. I think that's Israeli Sar anyway. Decore. Pereira. Nice feet from Pereira there. Really nice feet. But Reed says, I'm not no ordinary winger yet again. I'm two for. Two against you. Okay, that was a terrible pass from Danny, to be fair. <laughs> okay, Quinner running down this side here. Puts him across. Oh, what a tackle from all. What a tackle from all girl. What a tackle. Look at all coming out of nowhere. He's like, man, forget about this. Bro, forget about it. Johnson <laughs> just tried to pepper the goalkeeper with a shot there. Puts down a shot. Ooh. Mm -mm. That was a big ass shot, man. Powerful that shot. Lawrence. Rolls puts that back into Daly. Of course, Daly doesn't have any strength to hold off the defender. <laughs> Powell into Johnson into Daly Rolls turns his man well there. Oh man, this defender seems big and strong though. I'll give him that. Powell, he's been eating his green, he's been eating his yam and cream banana. Yo, you see what I mean? He's definitely been eating yam and green banana. Powell into Garrick Johnson into Rolls. Rolls going to shoot this, finesse this. Oh. <laughs> I tried to go for something unconventional that I usually don't do then. A finesse on the edge of the box. And, and at least it was on target, man. I'll give him that. Put the corner in the middle. Well, the player's broken down now. Organise the corners. Okay, nice clearance from Reed as well. Pereira. <laughs> Yo, three for three. Three for three, man. He's he's put him in his pocket. And he's not even a defender. It's crazy, man. Segla. Back heels that into Saar. Tries to put down a What did, I, what did I say last season about what the finesse is outside the box always going on this game? That wasn't even close to the box. Look at this. He hit it from there. Go on, Gary. Do something good for once. Oh, Gary, man. All you had to do was finish that properly. Oh, that he was straight at the goalkeeper as well, you idiot. Here comes the corner. And the keeper oh, Michael Hector actually managed to put that on target. But he didn't put it to the back pulse like I wanted him to. Because the movement's not been as good as it normally is out there. 
<laughs> that was probably a finesse knowing him. Blake rolls it out to Johnson. Into Dally. Okay, Dally, that pass was not great whatsoever. Zegler. Ooh, that didn't like how that ended up whatsoever. Don't tell me he's injured. I can't afford him to be injured. Justin puts in a cross there. Marco Hector looks like he's shaking off his injury. Nice defending by Orgel. And a nice clearance from Michael Hector. Unfortunately, he's gone straight back to them. Saar puts in it. <sighs> I get scared now every single time there's a finesse shot outside the box. That was on target as well. It was a good save. But we're going to bring on our players now. Brown for Dali. We need that fresh pace. What's them? Kimar Roos has been speed now. Has it gone down a little bit? 79. It's only gone down by one. We're going to bring him on for... Rolls, and we're going to bring Williams on on the right hand side for Garrick here. I'm going ultra attacking actually, so Reed's on the left, Brown's on the right hand side. He can actually play there though, can't he? Oh, he can play on the left, uh, so we'll have to suffer out there. Johnson will drop in the right centre mid position here, and that's it. Williams and Roof up top, putting the cross here, really trying to get rid of this. There we go. Let's make a break. Oh, come on, man. Make a break. I blame whoever that was that couldn't get it out of his feet quick enough. Great ball, great goal. Who was playing him on side as well? Because he had so much space. If we just counter-attacked properly, that's all we needed to do. And now we're going to lose our first game of the season. Well, not first game of the season, but first game in ages to Watford. After he was leading for so long. You're telling me you touched the ball that badly for, for no reason? Oh. We end the episode on a loss to Watford. It's not what I needed at all. We did not deserve to lose that game at all. It was bound to happen eventually, but against these guys, I don't know about that one, man. How come Watford scored over there? That just shut up, man, <laughs> bro. Because I, we couldn't attack quick enough with the counter attack. Where did it go wrong today? I'm not sure. I'm sure. We just attack quick enough, and whoever was playing in my side was doing was just doing a stupid thing, basically. We're going to train the number two this year. We're going to drop somebody else into a training session, seeing as how whoever that was that's injured is nursing himself back from the injury. We're going to bring Parks in here. <sighs> and that's it. We'll end the episode here. So I thought we were going to have a really good episode again like, yes, like yesterday, well, two days ago from what you've seen. But um, we lost to Watford on the final game of the episode, the 2-1 loss, I'm just not happy about that whatsoever, but the next episode we've got Transbors there, we've got what, um, I need to say Watford again, <laughs> we've got Wolves and Southampton to end the month, so till next time.